A historic Longmont building now has a new lease on life. The original Johnson's Corner will now be Johnson Station. Denver 7's Maggie Ulansky shows us what's new and what's the same at this old favorite. All touches are being added to a historic spot in Longmont that was almost forgotten. Uh, it was one of the first fill stations in Longmont. And um, unfortunately, around the turn of the century, it became dilapidated, uh, almost forgotten about. Built in the 1930s, Johnson's Corner was a frequent stop for drivers. Uh, 287 has been an important route for travel throughout the history of Colorado. As the city grew, this concrete building was moved to make room for other projects. It was moved in 2003 when Ken Pratt was expanded. Uh, it was saved by Kiki Wallace. Uh, he was the developer of the Prospect Newtown neighborhood. The building sat empty for for almost 20 years until now. Super excited. Johnson Station is very much so like a nod to the past, but with a big desire to create something timeless. And we wanted to keep as much as the exterior of the building, you know, true to its form. Uh, we brought in some old gas pumps and uh, just a nod to that time. We we kept the gas pumps, but we actually ran power into them, and now they're electric vehicle chargers. A new developer saw the old-time charm and the opportunity to keep it alive. Uh, I grew up in Longmont, went to Silver Creek High. I remember when the building was over on Main Street, so it's just been, again, such a, a landmark in the community. It's not just a place to fuel up a modern vehicle, but also a place to fuel up yourself. Back in the day where there was a diner attached to most of these, so you'd get your car filled, you'd have a meal, you'd hang out for a bit. So that seemed to fit just in line with the electric vehicle era where you can plug in your car, come in, have a drink, get a hamburger, and then be on your way. Given the character of this building, renovating it was no easy task. But overall, um, the last four years, it's been a labor of love getting it here. As they gear up for their grand opening on Friday, they hope this old gas station will now be a frequent stop keeping true to its original purpose. It came from mom and pop roots. We wanted to keep those. It's all local ownership. Reporting in Longmont, Maggie Walansky, Denver 7.